All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, ES6, Use Class Syntax to Define a Constructor Function. Okay. So ES6 provides a new syntax to create objects using the class keyword. Pardon me, using the class keyword. There we go. Uh, in ES5, an object can be created by defining a constructor function and using the new keyword to instantiate the object, right? In ES6, a class declaration has a constructor method that is invoked with the new with the new keyword, all right? Uh, if the constructor method is not explicitly defined, then it is implicitly defined with no arguments. Okay, so here's the example of the explicit constructor. We've got class space shuttle, all right? And so we've got the constructor target plane and this dot target plane. Well, have we gone through this yet? I think we did it a couple of lessons ago. Anyway, so we've got this dot target plane now equals Tar target plane, target planet, uh, now equals target planet, right? So whatever this is or was now equals this right here. And so we've got takeoff, this takeoff function right here and console.log, I mean, it's gonna do a console.log two and then it'll do this target planet, whatever we passed into this and then with an exclamation point right there, all right? So for an implicit constructor, we'll do something like class rocket and then we'll say launch, and instead of having a target planet, we'll just have whatever. And it just, like it doesn't, since we're not putting anything into it, it doesn't need anything, I guess. That's what it's saying. Uh, and then we'll just do console.log to the moon like that. So const Zeus equals new space shuttle Jupiter will print to Jupiter in the console, like to Jupiter, and then the uh, exclamation point, to Jupiter exclamation point in the console when we do Zeus dot takeoff. Yes. So when we do Zeus dot takeoff. All right, cool. Uh, but const Atlas will have new rocket and then it'll just print to the moon in the console whenever we do Atlas dot launch. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just it's just throwing this onto there and it's not passing in any new arguments or anything like that. I guess that's what it's trying to say to us. Uh, so here we go. It should be noted that the class keyword declares a new function to which a constructor is added, all right? Uh, the constructor is, pardon me, the constructor is invoked when new is called to create a new object, okay? So for a note, we've got, upper, pardon me, upper camel case should be used by convention for ES6 class names, all right? So like we've got space shuttle, like that right there. Uh, and then rocket's just one word, so it'll still be uh, capitalized right there. Uh, as in space shuttle used above, like I just said, all right? Uh, so the, con pardon me, the constructor method is a special method for creating and initializing an object created with a class, okay? Uh, we will learn more about it in the object-oriented programming section of the, Java, of the JavaScript algorithms and data structures certification. All right, cool. So we don't really need to know too much more about that. Uh, so now we're going to use the class keyword and write a constructor to create the vegetable class. The vegetable class allows us to create a vegetable object with a property name that gets passed to the constructor. Okay. So since we're push, we're putting, what's the me, Since we're passing the property name into it, we're going to use this explicit constructor, right? So let's start off by saying class vegetable. So we'll say class, class, vegetable, vegetable, all right? And then we'll have the curly braces like this. And then we'll start off by saying, con well, well, we'll have constructor and then constructor. And then we'll put in there name, name, name like that. And then we'll uh, have another set of curly braces like that. So we're basically doing this, except for it's gonna be name in here. So now we'll probably do a this dot name. All right, let's let's try that. This dot name. This dot name equals uh, name. Let's see. Let's see if that looks good. Uh, so the vegetable class allows us to create a vegetable object with a property name that gets passed to the constructor. All right, that looks good, I guess. Uh, and then, do we need to do a console or anything like that? Carrot. All right. Well, it does. When we do console.log carrot.name, it says carrot. 
So I guess that's good to go. So let's uh, check it, run the test, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to use getters and setters to control access to an object. And we'll see you next time.